No, no. Um, it's March the 30th here, which is uh, pretty much um, banned on 10 months uh, post surgery. Um, probably been a while since I made me last recording on it. Um, no, no big changes, uh, although an improvement in, in quality throughout. I'm not taking um, anti inflammatories anymore. Uh, for well, for one reason at least, and maybe two reasons. Uh, number one is because me um, uh, me prescription was changed from uh, diclofenac onto naproxen, and the naproxen doesn't really seem to touch it. Uh, I'm making improvements. Previously, the improvements um, were seen in in my eyes and my balance. Um, definitely in the, in the control and stiffness experienced in my uh, in my shoulders, and arms and hands, particularly in the left. Um, but I suppose there's maybe an aspect of it's improved to the extent, uh, either the inflammation or the impact of the inflammation, um, such that. Uh, you know, there's there's no change when you take the um, you take the medication, or in fact, the damage itself has uh, um, the problems itself has rectified. Although it doesn't really stand up, because whether the uh, damage is there or not, um, inflammation would still compromise. So I don't know. I do feel if it was taken diclofenac, it would take uh, it would still have a have a you know. Uh, some improvement um, activity and movement wise just started running um, this is suppose over the last three to four weeks I've uh, graduated I'm running on the Kev uh, self propelled treadmill um, which as the name suggests has a Kev platform uh, running a little bit like a tank track um, encourages better uh, certainly more vertical running posture uh, and you also get glute engagement as well because you are actually dragging the surface beneath you as opposed to on a normal treadmill where you're essentially just jumping up in the air um, I had tried starting running earlier um, probably as much as um, maybe even six months ago uh, there's probably one one me I made some of me uh, me last recordings, although I do know I made a recording after six months post, so that was only a big four months ago. Um, it didn't feel like I was running. That was like um, almost like a high intensity Quasimodo thing, like you know. So I was getting some cardiovascular out of it, like, but because the activity wasn't in like authentic running, um, it's doomed to both uh, glass ceiling failure and injury which was what happened when I started getting that when I got a, an ex, a acute hamstring um, spasm out of it like and you know just had to have a look at myself you know I was just breaking all of, all of my rules and um, you know the, the key one from uh, from Greg Cook blessings be upon him um, of uh, move well before you move often uh, but now it does feel like it's proper running. Um, I started off with uh, just bursts of uh, 20 seconds, then 30 seconds, and fitting eight of them into my me, uh, me training session. Now I'm actually managing a uh, uh, full minute on, on the runner. I, I try to make it um, as quality and well, try to make it quality performance running if it can. So uh, a, a reasonable pace, certainly one for me. Um, and it does seem to be coming on. Uh, last time I managed four one-minute sessions. Uh, it does hammer me a bit on the cardiovascular because I'm, I'm just not used to it. Um, but it does seem to have progress. Uh, I feel sort of improvement right across the board just as a result of... Um, uh, they have the improved neurological challenge and and I'm probably just running as well uh, I for one are convinced it's almost an essential part of our daily function 
um, to you know indulge in those mechanics and to do so at a, at a reasonable rate both of intensity and volume uh, started driving uh, probably if not just last week it would uh, most the week before uh, felt a little bit of a neurological challenge first of all with the various input streams coming in and also controlling your, your hands and feet independently whilst looking and concentrating with your mind and now it's pretty much back to the second nature work before which uh, you know it's more more useful playing activity and expansion so uh, I sort of feel better for that um, coming up to my uh, my one year anniversary of the op or op of it, actually uh, I'm I'm targeting I'm wanting to um, be able to uh, to well, at least run a mile uh, and then you know I would like to try and put some sort of um, minute mile target on but uh, let, let's see if I can um, if I can get five minutes together first before I start put my time on it I would like to though um, and I, I also want to start trying to include more expansive movements in so when another target for uh, for the one year anniversary is a um, is a cartwheel and then if I'm really progressing a, uh, a handstand which is something I wasn't able to do before so that would be quite satisfying anyway that's uh, that's enough droning on for now see you all